Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique and as you can see today we have a different setup because today's video is about fall essential items. So today I will show you what I think are the essential items for fall 2017. These are basic items that you can mix and match with your wardrobe already or you already probably have in your wardrobe and wanting a new way on how to mix and match them and it's more like a capsule wardrobe different but these are the essentials that will oh, that would carry along throughout this transitional um, season that we have at the moment so if you like this kind of video don't forget to subscribe and click the notification uh, button down below and let's jump right in so for the first item that I think is essential in every woman's wardrobe is a beautiful silk blouse. I'm sorry that this is wrinkled, but I was just too lazy to um, steam it before this video. But you get the gist. So a very nice and relaxed uh, silk shirt is such a great, great piece to your wardrobe. And silk is such a great fabric. It retains heat in the winter. So in the summer, you want something that is like breathable, um, you know, because it'll, it's like muggy and sweaty. So you want cotton and you want linen. But um, in the winter, silk is such a great option for you because it's not a breathable fabric. And it just looks so rich and so it just moves so beautifully against your body. So this one is a very relaxed style. Of course, you can find so many different color and style. It's always good to have something in the beige kind of ivory, black, taupe kind of colors because then you can go with so many outfits. But of course, you can always go with crazy colors if you want. You can have it in red or pink or things like that. And uh, Equipment is such a good brand for um, silk shirts. They kind of specialize in silk shirts. Um, this one is from Ralph Lauren. And you don't have to splurge. I don't think a silk shirt is a splurge. It can be, but it's not necessarily a splurge. So you can find it high and low. Like literally, I think uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and pay the full price on retail, go to a thrift store. This one I actually find thrifting and it was like $7. Like, so you don't have to go retail and if you are finding difficulty because you're shopping at a fast fashion and you're finding it difficult to find silk, go to the vintage route or go thrifting or find deals online there's so many the real real is also great you know it's like it's so easy to find um, an affordable silk shirt in my opinion if you are willing to do a little bit of a work so a silk shirt is a definite must number two item is I think a striped shirt. I'm sure most of you already have this in your wardrobe already. So this is nothing new. You can have a boat neck, you can have a v-neck, you can have a turtleneck even. It's up to you. But I think stripes are super chic. Like you always see French women in, in stripes and I always strive to be French chic even though I know most of the time I'm not but I strive to be. And so for me I really uh, drawn towards um, towards stripes and believe it or not it is actually more versatile than you think just yesterday I paired my striped shirt with uh, a leopard print linen trench coat and they just go if they're in the same kind of like color phrase they would just go together so just don't be afraid to match your stripes with everything you know you can match it with floral it all depends also with the color if you go monochrome and it's it, it you would usually work this one also I found vintage this one is 100% cotton It's actually made in France and I was so happy when I found it it is getting cooler and what could be more chic than a black 
turtleneck. This thing will go with so many things. It will go with so many outfits. It can be under a slip dress. It could be, you know, uh, paired with a skirt, paired with jeans, paired with a lot of things. So a black, um, a black turtleneck sweater is definitely a must if you can get cashmere. But wool will also uh, be good for the. Um, colder weather if you can't get cashmere. Again, I'm never suggesting anyone to go and get like retail price. You know, you can you can have beautiful textile, beautiful fabric that will actually work for the season if you just maybe be a little bit uh put more time into it and do a little bit more of, you know, looking around. So yeah, a beautiful um, black turtleneck is a definite must. Okay, so fashion is always about creating trends, okay? And these trends sometimes can just be like, what? It's a trend? I mean, that's like such a classic look. And this season is all about that Prince, is it Prince Wales? Basically, the plaid my phone just went up. Basically, this season is just about the plaid double-breasted blazer. I don't know, like, I think it was Balenciaga that started it from the last fashion show for fall winter 2017. Beautiful, like, gray plaid uh, blazers. And I think it started from there, trickled down to everything that is trendy now. And the, this type of blazer is like the it thing. I saw everyone wearing a plaid blazer. This one in particular I really like because it has like a green um, stripes so it gives it a different um, a different vibe. Uh, I see a lot of fast fashion doing this but since I don't buy from fast fashion or at least I try to avoid it 99% out of the time I do not want to go there and I also don't want to pay I don't know 150 or something like that to get it from somewhere else or like $500 to get it from TV. So I went the vintage route of course and I found this vintage Brooks Brothers 100% wool uh, blazer and it's just so good. Like it fits really well and it's just so nice and I scored in this. Because it was, I think, $15 and then another $15 for dry cleaning and literally I got a new blazer which is trendy and everyone and their mother is wearing right now. So yeah, go vintage. Go, um, sorry for the phone guys, but don't be afraid to go out there and look for it. And an alternative if you don't want to plaid, red is a huge color this season. It's all about red, 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 and I'm also obsessed with red, but I've been obsessed with red every season, I feel like. Um, I have a beautiful red coat by uh, Vintage Saint Laurent. So red can be a different um, alternative if you don't want plaid for a blazer. And yeah, the next item is, of course, a leather moto jacket. This is every freaking season every fall every if you want to invest in a beautiful acne one which costs like i don't know two thousand dollars it's still i think a smart investment because a leather moto jacket is something that you will wear 10 15 20 years down the line so um you can also have it in different color red or brown or anything you want cognac it's it's such a staple piece Another item, another jacket, it's all about jackets and layering in the fall, uh, is a bit like a den, an oversized denim jacket. You see Balenciaga has this oversized denim jacket, which looks just like a vintage Levi's, but it just says Balenciaga on the back. And I don't know how much that costs, but I'm sure like over $500. And if you don't want to spend that much, because it's the same style anyway, Go vintage. Go look for like a vintage Levi's um, jacket that is oversized and you could still get the same look with like so much less. 
So this oversized, obviously not with this shirt, but it kind of has that same vibe and you can go like that. It's like kind of cute. So yeah, very 90s, very grunge. It's something that you can easily find somewhere else and you don't have to buy it designer. I mean, if you can, if you want to, of course that's cool too. I mean, who doesn't want a brother's like a denim jacket, but you don't have to. But another staple piece in the fall um, that is always a staple, no matter what season, no matter what the trend is, is a trench coat. So invest in a beautiful trench coat. It doesn't have to be khaki. It could be any color. Um, I used to have a purple one and this uh, gray one I've had for a few seasons actually. And it's from Reed Krakow. It's a brand that don't longer exist, I think. Uh, but it's very well made and it just also goes with so many things and it's so again it's very chic you can count how many times i say chic in this video probably one too many so we've had tops we've had jackets and now i'm moving on to bottoms number one thing of course is a pair of gray jeans um skinny is great of course but also actually straight jeans is all the rage at the moment everyone and their mother loves a good mom jeans moment so for me 501 a levi's 501 is something that would look good on everyone so if you can find a vintage 501 that is amazing that's awesome but i have pretty big hips i have a pretty wide hips so it's hard for me to find it in vintage um, so I went with Redone so basically it's a company that uh, brings back all the vintage 501s and yeah they're all already distressed because they're worn uh, but they're like I don't know I think they uh, they change it up a little bit the pockets or something but yeah a vintage uh, Levi's 501 is always a good idea. Put it here. Okay, and the next item is a beautifully tailored pants. So you need a tailored pants, and wool is such a great um, it's such a great material for fall winter because it will keep you warm. And you don't have to go with black if you don't want to. Of course, having a good pair of black pants, it's always a must. But you can also go with color. I like this one. This is burgundy. This one is a Margiela one and it's burgundy. It's just, um, it's tapered and it's kind of like ankle length. It's such a beautiful uh, pair of pants. It's very well made and it just looks beautiful last part for bottom for me a beautiful bandage like pencil skirt or a knit one is so so chic sorry for the wrinkle guys it's very chic you can pair this with an oversized sweater and pair of boots and you're good to go like this turtleneck oversized boots maybe a hat you're 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 done you're good you can just leave the house it can be in other colors um, black is good for me i think because it's slimming because i have my lower part of the body is bigger than my upper part so i'm always trying to camouflage that another item is a beautiful silk dress this is all the rage everywhere this one in particular i really love it has this lace bottoms. This one is full length. Um, if you can find yourself that is knee length, that is also very um, a beautiful alternative because it's more wearable. And as um, I think full length might be, it's it's amazing if you're like five foot nine. But I think for me, I really need to find uh, something that is like knee length. So it depends. Um, it's, a, it's a very different look between the full length and the knee length one. But if you can find a beautiful 
silk slip dress for fall, then yeah. This will uh, transition nicely because you can wear a turtleneck underneath or you can put a jacket over it. Okay, so those are the clothing that I think uh, are very essential for fall. I'm going to go to what I think is essential for me in terms of shoes in the fall winter. First up, we have white sneakers. White sneakers is essential for fall, summer, any season. Uh, but in the summer, I tend to wear open toe more and I don't really like closed toes because, you know, it's like muggy out and you're sweating. I don't like sweating in my shoes. So yeah, anyway, TMI. But so for fall, I plan to wear this more. Uh, this is, um, it has platform. This one is from Comme des Garçons. And I don't baby it at all. You know how some people really like their white sneakers to be ultra white? I don't really care if it gets dirty. I think it gives it more character. So yeah, this is a good staple because it goes with a lot of outfits. Another staple is the loafer. You can go with the slides style or you can go with the whole kind of shoe this is a gucci one uh this is bef before alessandro michele came into the uh came into the fashion house so this is a little bit older this is i think two years two or three years old but it still looks you know amazing with any outfit you can wear this all day long of course slide is another alternative if you want something that's still open on the back and it's still warm enough to wear something like that. Another one is a pair of boots. It could be over the knee uh, or for in this case, these are more like knee high boots, but it's slouchy. Slouchy boots are very trendy uh, this season. And if you can get them in colors, that's also a great pop for your outfit. These are just so beautifully made and super soft. These are from Tamara Mellon. Tamara Mellon is, uh, she was the founder of Jimmy Choo, but then she sold Jimmy Choo and then built her own company. So yeah, it's so soft. It, these are suede, so beautiful and so soft. All right, so we've gone through clothing. We've gone through, um, we've gone through shoes. Now it's time for bags. Um... In the fall, you tend to layer more, so I think crossbody, I mean, it's all crossbody is always appropriate for any season, but in the fall, you can wear a bigger size, slightly bigger size, not like mini or kind of like walks kind of like crossbody because you might bring a lot more items, you know, you might need a hand cream because it gets like really... Uh, Cold, like it gets really windy you might need a hat you can just put in there like a beanie you might need like sometimes your scarf so like a, a like a bag that is a medium size will be great for fall my two options are so the first one is this beautiful reissue bag that i just got recently um red is of course the color for this fall winter as we know and this bag is a medium kind of size so it's so easy you just put it on and you good to go and you can go run your day and it's like roomy enough to fit so many items there you can even fit a full size um a full size wallet so yeah so the reissue is definitely a great staple or fall winter and my other pick is the Chanel boy bag of course you need a black bag having a black bag is such a great option for fall winter it goes with any outfit and you know in the summer you tend to want to wear your light color bags but in the fall you tend to want to wear maybe like darker color bags so and if you wear like coats and stuff or jackets and you are afraid of color transfer that won't be the case at all with a black bag i've been really loving this bag because it's such a the size is it fits a lot of things it's such a good size this is like the this is the new medium uh but because boy bags are leather line they are not leather boy bags are not leather line i mean 
they are so light like literally this bag is so light you will think that this chain would make it like super heavy i mean these are like substantially good you know weight but it's such a light bag i mean i'm so in love because it doesn't hurt my shoulder at all so guys these are my picks for what i think is essential for fall and winter this year by having these staple items i can easily build up my outfits and mix and match with accessories or scars or different things and look like i you know have different uh, so many items while in fact it's only from like a capsule wardrobe so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below if i miss anything that you think is a fall essential and yeah please subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you on my next one bye